It's a lovely fall evening here at uh, Casa de Stephanie. And uh, I've been busy picking lots of things. I'll show you when I clean these up what all I've picked, but I've got a nice bag full, very colorful. But mostly I'm picking these peppers here. Um, many of them have turned orange, like completely ripe. And then, you know, some are not as ripe, but we're taking those anyway. Geronimo! Oops. Sorry, uh, marigolds. There he is. Not perfectly ripe, you know, like they turn red when they're completely ripe, but very edible, very nice. We'll add this to the bag. Uh, kind of. Uh, wow, that didn't go very well. Anyway, uh, add that to the bag. And tonight, we're going to pickle those banana peppers. So we'll check in a little bit later. But let's enjoy the weather. Clear blue sky, late September. Can't beat it. All right, so here is tonight's haul from the garden. A couple of Lemon Boy tomatoes, maybe a quarter pound of green beans, a bunch more cherry tomatoes, and we've got some set aside from earlier in the week, a couple Thai chilies, which we're gonna freeze and hopefully ferment, and about a pound of these banana peppers that we're gonna pickle. Just a super quick check. Here are our pickle, pickled banana peppers. Look really good. Lid is sealed tightly. So it seems like this was a success. I think we'll open this up next week. Obviously, as uh, it gets later into the year and we're now, you know, very much into the fall, there's not as much uh, seed starting going on down here in the basement. But we do have a little bit of microgreen action still. Some arugula, radish, peas, and amaranth. It's a damp and cold October day. It's been like this for a while. Not a lot of sun lately. And uh, there are rumors of frost coming, but nothing yet. The ground is saturated with water. Um, most of our cherry tomatoes, which are still being produced, are uh, either not getting picked or being eaten by critters, but we'll get a few more. There's a few more beans to pick, decent size. Um, lots of parsley. We're actually going to pick a lot of this today for some falafel we're making. It's like a whole parsley patch in there. Uh, nothing too interesting here. Some radishes. Peppers are still ripening. We'll let this keep going. Uh, try to get as many red ones as we can. Mm, here are parsnips. We're excited for those guys. Oh, neighbor's dog's going crazy. Um, won't be long until we get to pick these. Hopefully it'll be a while because we're going to pick them after frost, but yeah. It's not going to be a choice. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, lettuce still coming in that's harvestable, so that's nice. Marigolds are really finishing up. Uh, the Brussels sprouts going really slow, but they're clearly growing. I doubt we're going to get much use out of these, but still fun to try. Probably try again next year. This plant's probably done. Brandywine tomato. I don't think that there's any chance these guys are going to ripen now. Uh, but the jalapenos still look good. I don't think that they're going to turn red with the amount of time that we have left. But uh, we've got a lot of nice fruit there. Radishes here. Lots and lots of radishes are coming in very well. As they should this time of year. Uh, we picked all those. And yeah, more marigolds. So, I mean, that's kind of it. We're, we're not done for the year. 
but we're getting close. So on this dreary October day, where it's 49 degrees outside, that is the fall garden. Thanks for watching. Just a quick addendum to my video. Here is what I just picked. So quite a bit of parsley, even though it's probably you know, less than a sixth of what's out there. A few cherry tomatoes, some nice ripe Thai chili peppers, and maybe a quarter pound of green beans. And we've got some uh, other cherry tomatoes from earlier in this week. So we're still getting food. Anyway, okay. Thanks for uh, sticking around for this extra little bit. Thanks for watching and have a great week.